Channel configurations refer to how the audio is recorded into your camera. For instance, let's say you have two reporters, and both of those are mic'd up with their own microphone, and they have the XLR cable going into channel 1 and channel 2 of your camera. When you have this kind of configuration set up, usually reporter number 1 is going into left channel audio, and your reporter number 2 is going to right channel audio. This is hugely beneficial to you because you can adjust those channels individually and not cause the audio to overlap into the other channel. So to understand this concept a little bit better, we're going to be working with the clip that was recorded with two microphones. So I'm going to go down to my project pane. I'm going to hit the tilde key so I can maximize this. I'm going to use the search feature and I'm going to just type in fetch. And the clip that we're going to be working with is Barber Medium Shop Play Fetch. So I'm going to hit the tilde key to minimize that. And I'm going to double click it so we can see the clip up here in our source pane. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this clip down into the timeline by hitting the comma key. That way we perform an insert edit and we just bring the whole clip in. I'm going to hit the backslash key to for the zoom to fit option. And let's go ahead and look over here to the right hand side. This is where our audio meters are. We notice that they go from zero all the way to infinity. Uh, and when I play this clip, notice that the left and right channels move independently of each other. Do you want to do more? Okay, come on. Get this. So the reason this occurs is because the left channel is recorded from the microphone that Barbara is wearing, while the right channel is the microphone from the camera. So even though we have two separate channels, when we bring this clip into Premiere, since it's only recorded in the camera, it comes in as one audio line. So how in the world do we get this to where we can adjust the levels independently? So I'm going to go to the original clip over here, and I'm going to right-click on it. I'm going to go to the Modify menu and Audio Channels. We get this window up here, and we have a preset. We can select Use File. Uh, we can select Mono, Stereo 501 Adaptive. But what we're wanting to do for this is we're going to use what's known as Dual Mono. So we want Mono in the first, and we want to do the clip channel to be Mono. And this will basically break this up into the two clips that we're wanting to edit. And this is asking you, which, how do you want to separate those? We'll go ahead and just leave this as it is. We want the left channel to be clip 1 which would be on A1, and then we want the right channel to be on clip 2, which will be on A2. So one really nice feature about Premiere is that it allows you to preview the channel separately. So if you didn't know which channel was the correct microphone, you could come down here and select either left or right channel, and then play it, and then figure out which one it is. So for instance, left is selected, uh, we can play this channel, and it will only give us the onboard camera microphone. We can hear Barbara a little bit in the background because she's speaking loud enough that this microphone on the camera is picking her voice up. All right, so let's go ahead and hit OK. And this is basically saying that, hey, you're changing the source clip, but anything that you have edited in the timeline is not going to be updated. So we'll go ahead and say yes to that. And you'll notice, like, a, like that warning just said, nothing in this timeline has been updated. So I'm going to put my playhead over here. And I'm going to go ahead and edit our source clip back down into the timeline by hitting the comma key. And I'm going to hit the backslash key so we can zoom out a little bit. So now that we've re-added our clip in here, I wanted to show you the total different look of them. So this is our first clip, the original clip that we added, and it only had the one track where it had both of the channels combined. Uh, but now we have our separated track. And we can see that the right channel, which is our Barbara, a microphone and the left channel which is the onboard camera so we can see Barbara talking here and then this is where the dog kind of runs by the camera so now let's pay attention again to the waveforms and check out what it looks like do you want to do more okay come on get this and now because the channels are separated now we can adjust them individually so for instance if we wanted to uh, lower the onboard camera microphone so it's not as loud we could now adjust that individually